miracle of the moment, the first Wednesday of August. Can you believe this? I'm Father Richard Fragamini, and I come to you from the Shrine of Our Lady of Pompeii with a different look. Usually I record these in front of the altar, all fully vested for Mass, but today it's the hazy, lazy, crazy days of summer. And I thought it would be a wonderful way to express that by sitting in the pew and speaking to you from the Shrine of Our Lady of Pompeii as we joyfully await the return of so many of you from your vacations, from holidays that you've spent in the summer as the summer is gradually winding down. Now, I know you're saying, oh, Father, we still got a whole month left. That is correct. We have one more month left before school starts, before our ordinary uh, opportunities for uh, scheduling starts, the routine starts again, and these wonderful days of summer come to an end. But before we come to an end, let me celebrate August with you. As you all know, the name August comes from Augustus, Augustus Caesar, because this was the last uh, month of the civil calendar in Rome for many, many centuries, so that September 1st was the beginning of the new year. In fact, in the Byzantine church, the Greek church, the beginning of their liturgical new year is September 1st, and certainly for our Jewish friends, the beginning of the new year starts as well in September. But this was the last month of the year and it was named after Caesar Augustus. Now, it's a special month for me because two important things in my life happened. The first thing is that I was baptized in August. August the 7th is my baptismal anniversary. And that's a great day to remember. In fact, I say to my students at Catholic Theological Union, I say, do you know the date of your baptism? Because the date of your baptism is just as important, if not more important, than the day of your biological birth, because this is the day of your birthday into Christ, where you're given the promise of everlasting life. So mine is August 7th. Homework for these remaining few weeks before summer ends. Homework. Take a look. See if you can find out the day of your baptism. Now, there's a second important moment here in August that I get to celebrate, and that's on the 15th of August. In Italy, we celebrate Faragosto, the middle of the August festival. I think this dates back to Roman, the Roman era as well. And it's the Feast of the Assumption of Mary. And as our bells ring here at the Shrine of Our Lady of Pompeii, we're going to ring the 11 o'clock hour, which I think is really, really significant because on the 15th of August, bells ring all over Italy. It's the, it's the moment where we honor Mary's death and her assumption into heaven. And so at this 11 o'clock hour here, as we're recording this, let's remember Mary and we remember her as the patroness of our shrine that draws us together and causes us to rejoice in hope and uh, it is also my ordination anniversary. And uh, this year, I believe, 47 years, I'm gonna be ordained a priest on August the 15th. And hopefully, by my 50th anniversary as a priest, we will have this church all painted and everything wonderfully done, and we can celebrate a golden anniversary for me and a wonderful anniversary of joy in a, uh, in a church that we will pass on to another generation of Italian Americans, and in fact, to everyone who comes here and finds here a place to be vulnerable, a place to weep when it is a time to weep, and a place to rejoice when it is a time to rejoice here at the Shrine of Our Lady of Pompeii. And with that, may I make a pitch. And little pitch is, is that when I know we have uh, struggled through COVID and, and we're still struggling through it. Uh, we heard uh, this past week that our, even our president uh, got COVID. Uh, this president, just like the former president, also got COVID. So no one is exempt from this disease. So be careful. But at the same time, we're doing our best to remain safe here. And so here's my pitch. Consider joining us again as the summer comes to an end. Consider joining us in September, in the fall. Consider joining us, especially for a way in which we can formally end the summer together 
on the last Saturday, get this, the last Saturday of August of this month, we're going to do this magnificent uh, celebration under the stars at Sin City. We're going to do a fundraiser on that Saturday evening, August 27th, at Sin City here in Chicago. The details are on our website. Uh, we are grateful to the Perillo family for helping us sponsor this and to, uh, to uh, Gigi, Gigi's Restaurant uh, for the food that they are sponsoring for us and also to our dear friends, the Colosimos, uh, Ronnie and Mary Lynn for also sponsoring this event. Uh, this will be a magnificent, a magnificent opportunity to end the summer, to end August, and then to invite you all to come back to the Shrine of Our Lady of Pompeii to celebrate Sunday Mass here, either at 8.30 or 11, rejoicing in the glory of Our Lady and the glory of God. So, happy Ferragosto, happy Baptism Day, whenever yours is, and happy end of the summertime. May August bring you much peace and joy and a good rest before we all start to go back again to our lives in September. See you on the first Wednesday of September then. God bless you all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.